We live in times when it can can seem that the evil one is succeeding in his program of lies and death. In our own nation, the federal government wants to codify as law the totally unjust decision of the Supreme Court which made legal abortion on, which made legal abortion on demand and to impose upon schools the teaching of the iniquitous gender theory. At the same time, it threatens to deny the freedom of religion, the freedom of citizens to follow God's plan for the world and for man, inscribed in nature itself and written upon every human heart. In the face of such seemingly ineluctable developments, we are naturally tempted to discouragement and even to the abandonment of the battle against the evil one in his program of lies and murder. But Christ is with us to win the battle if only we engage it, yes, with our seemingly little and insignificant forces. Our weak and poor hearts, united to the royal heart of Christ the King, become strong and rich for the transformation of our homes and thus of our neighborhoods, our nation, and our world. We do not know when Christ will return in his glory. We do not know the last day, but we do know that we are called every day to prepare for it by our fidelity to the work of Christ's grace within our hearts. That is enough for us. 